Namaste. By the way, beautiful song, Sri Achimita. I didn't understand the words, but uh, they're really calming and soothing to the soul and mind. That's what we're looking for. So I am tasked to speak on spirituality in exponential world. What is exponential world? Brother Sanjib Kanoria already explained the meaning of it. Is it the world we live in today? Rapidly growing by the second? Nowadays, there is exponential growth in everything. In religion, academia, science and technology, space exploration, medical research, great financial and material wealth, and even in humanitarian efforts. So how does spirituality fit in? Let me give you an example of an exponential world. Recently, in Saudi Arabia, they introduced to the world its new citizen, the robot named Sophia. I'm sure you heard all, uh, about it, and you probably some, uh, saw some interviews on television. It's insane. How do you give citizenship to a robot? What if someday the world is dominated by artificial intelligence? Well, it might just happen. If we lack the understanding that spiritual intelligence enables human intelligence and human intelligence enables artificial intelligence. We must never forget that. Is Sophia the robot capable of being spiritual? No, but her creator is. If we can all agree that all of us living on this earth are spiritual beings to begin with, and we were born in this temporary body which makes us human, that what we're doing here today is unlocking that spirituality in us. Spiritual interconnection, which is the <clears throat> to release our spiritual intelligence, which is the foundation of the exponential world. But the question is, how do we manage spirituality in an exponential world? How do we make sure that there is balance? That we choose right over wrong? That despite exponential growth in human intelligence, we find the meaning, purpose, hope, comfort, inner peace, happiness, joy and security my answer is we need spiritual leadership and this is what dr kanoria is doing dr kanoria and the sray foundation they're doing spiritual investment investing on spiritual growth so that we can build a spiritual world Last night over dinner, I was having a chat with a gentleman. I asked what he's doing here, and he said that he's one of the speakers. But he finds it a little bit outside this arena because he said he's a politician, not a spiritual guru or a, a religious leader. And I told him, you are wrong. You are a leader, you are spiritual. Last year, I spoke about this, leadership. Same time, same event, only in Delhi. I said that leadership is 99% spirituality and 1% tool to lead. You see, many leaders of today are not aware 
that the power and ability for them to lead or decide over the community or country, those are coming from their higher intelligence, enabled by spiritual intelligence. So you will love me, Madam MC, because I have a very short speech. But before I go, I will leave you with this beautiful quote by a French priest and philosopher, Pierre Telhard de Chardin, and it goes, we are, we are not human beings having spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Thank you very much and namaste.